We're standing in front of a recent painting by Richard Prince, who is an artist that François Pinault has been collecting in great depth. And when we had to choose uh, the works for this, with this, for this show, which basically represents maybe around 10% of the collection, uh, we really actually let the building guide our choices first because we wanted to create a very special dialogue with this incredible building of the Punta della Dogana with its different scales, with the natural light, with uh, the very peculiar shapes of the spaces. But we also wanted to, of course, work with representing, making a portrait of the core of the collection. So, of course, we chose artists uh, first and foremost, who are important to the identity of the collection, who Francois Pinault follows with great passion. But we also uh, worked with younger artists who Francois Pinault has recently started to collect or who he has uh, had a strong relationship with. And we've even commissioned a few artists, such as Mark Hanforth, Charles Ray, um, the young artist Matthew Day Jackson. And it's been uh, an incredible experience in that regard because it's a living collection and it's a, it's a collection that continues to evolve with the artists. It's not fixed in its mission in terms of a historical movement or a specific uh, approach to art, ma art making, which makes it, in my opinion, quite unique in the world. As the visitor will see when they come to the Punta della Dogana, we're not in the conventional contemporary art space, it's not a white cube. The walls are brick and sometimes very rough hewn ruined bricks because it was part of the restoration project that we had to keep the building intact. Uh, 